Hello, beloved. Welcome to my diary. I'm Tatami, and today I'm going to show you a video from the status coup. That's the journalist who broke the story on the Flint, Michigan water issue. Um, they went ahead and also covered the story of activists who went to one of Bezos' apartments and wrote $20,000 signs on the sidewalk below. Now, the $20,000 signs represents the 20,000 Amazon employees who have been exposed to the virus this year. It's not, you know, conclusive about how many of these people died, how many have had permanent injury from contracting it. And the number also doesn't include all of the people who were fired for trying to um, make some kind of better working situations for themselves in any type of way organizing, as well as the people who were fired because they couldn't keep up with the pandemic rush. Um, Amazon does have a very strict system that's run by robots, essentially. And if you are not quick enough for that system, you can be fired without a human ever looking at the paper. And so it's a very inhumane, inhumane system. Uh, it's a very hard system to be working under. And these people put it together so beautifully with a spiritual essence type of song, um, which usually I'm not a huge fan of because I usually don't think people do it effectively. But lyrically, I think that this one went really well. The person they had leading vocalizing excellent voice and even the preacher spiritual leader that you're gonna see he's when you see his green suit you get a little at first you're you're ready to to wonder what's going on what's going on okay but uh he quickly wins you over i think as well you see that he's really about it and um also keep an eye out for, for the karen about four minutes into it um who comes out and panics um, but what's really interesting to me was the, um, the, a police officer goes to her and is like, these people have a right. And to which she responds to him something along the lines of, but, it, but it's in front of the store. And you suddenly you realize she's the manager and she's worried about the upper managerial class who she's going to have to explain why her sales are perhaps lower today than they could have or should have been and obviously because of the pandemic they're probably lower than usual anyway and it's sad because these people are out there for her too she doesn't realize it but they are out here fighting for these workers rights for all of us we're only as good as the lowest person here and um i don't know if she i don't know if she had any kind of understanding of that but it definitely gave me understanding to see that interaction and to see in my mind yes we, it's just this hierarchical system of managers over managers using up the people below them. And it's a very sad system. And so I hope um, people were are able to really see how, um, how powerful the symbolism of that 20,000 physical dollar signs on the floor is. That's, that's humans. That's human lives. Every one of them has someone who loves them, right? And um, I hope it also broadens our perspective wider to all of the people beyond who have passed away or gotten infected of which i think they said it's like a million so far and uh who have been affected and 266,000 who have passed away rest in peace all of those americans i feel i feel like we failed you in a lot of ways but i hope in some way passing on this this will give people more insight First off, into the ways that we continue to purchase. This is not an ad, a, a admonishment of poor people who have to use Amazon or other online retailers. This is more pointed towards the people who know that they can make other choices and they're choosing not to. Um, they're choosing to enable Bezos, you know, habits. And um, I think those people really need to have some inner reflection as well. But at any rate, please enjoy this video. And go check out the status coup, please go and subscribe to them. They are really great. They actually go out there. A lot of people do commentary inside, but the status coup actually leaves their house and flies places to cover stories and unearth things. And they deserve that support. So at any rate, may your ancestors and spirit guides be with you at every crossroads. And I will see you next video. Ain't no safe way to work at Amazon. Ain't no 
safe way to work at Amazon. Ain't no safe way to work at Amazon. Ain't no safe way to work at Amazon. Ain't no safe way to work at Amazon. Ain't no safe way to work at Amazon.
every member of the Amazon workforce that is now infected with COVID-19. Our plan is to chalk on the sidewalk in front of Jeff Bezos' mansion 20,000 dollar signs. The question is, how do we represent these people who are bringing us our gifts this holiday season? First of all, let's be conscious of their suffering. There is no safe way to work in Amazon. When they try to, when they try to share information about the coronavirus inside the distribution centers, they are fired. Because it resembles union organizing. The reason why they're out in front of this building here, I believe uh, Jeff Bezos has a uh, uh, an apartment here. Chris Small, Derek Palmer, 
my other teammate, Joe Bryson, who's here with me. Uh, fortunately, Chris and Jared can make it today because they're in Seattle. I'd like to say that this man, Jeff Bezos, made billions of dollars during the pandemic. Completely unfair for his workers. He's hiring, as, he's hiring and firing as he talks. It's a shame that employees day to day have to suffer. Families, mothers, fathers, everyone has to suffer, including myself. I have a, a medical issue called lupus nephritis. He fired me during the pandemic. They didn't want to take care of me. It took him, it took him weeks to rehire me, and it's a shame that he couldn't protect me. This goes to show that this man doesn't care about his employees. He doesn't care about families. He cares about his profit. Jeff Bezos also likes to take employees' uh, credit for stock units. Uh, my cousin, my, my friend John will talk about it, but my cousin, he was an Amazon employee. He had an Amazon stock unit, they fired him, and they took all his money in his stock unit and sold it. It's a shame that workers like me, who've been there for two years, two and a half years, has to suffer. I only make a hundred and something dollars a week on unemployment. And Jeff Bezos doesn't want to help no money in my pocket at all. I just want to say thank you guys. Solidarity. Woo! Yeah. Power to the people. My name is Gerald Bryson. Uh, I come out of Staten Island, JFKA. I was with Chris Smalls. I am with Chris Smalls. I am a co-founder of TCOEW. I was the second one fired uh, through the pandemic after Chris. Uh, I was protesting on my day off. Thank you. Thank you. This goes to show the lanes that, you know, Jeff and his uh, company will go to to uh, make sure that they're on top. That's what this is all about. It's about him being on top and us staying on the bottom. And how do you think this company got built? It got built by us, the people. The people built his company. The people are making him the richest man in the world. We have to sit back and take a look at you know, uh, you just have to take a look at that general. This man pays no taxes. He pays no taxes while well, you still have to pay taxes. Even if you're on welfare unemployment, you're paying taxes. Amazon pays no taxes. They pay taxes one place, one state, and that's Seattle. And, and that's due to the, the councilman up there, Sharma. She made sure that Amazon is paying Seattle taxes. All right? And that's what we all need to do. Why isn't New York doing that? Why isn't he paying taxes in New York? Like I said, I was fired for protesting during the pandemic. Uh, JFK8 has one of the highest rates in Amazon. It's mixed up uh, tri-state area. Mostly New York and New Jersey. Okay, I come from Staten Island. The most infected area is Annadale. Where is Amazon located? Annadale. Is that coincidence? I think not. The problem is that we have two governors from two great states, New York and New Jersey, that are doing nothing. They're sitting up there. Get ready to close the cities down, tell you got to be in at 10 o'clock, but they say nothing about Amazon. Yeah. It's about time that government has addressed this issue because it involves two states. You know, and when you got two states involved, and you got a pandemic, you got people just passing it back and forth between states. This, this something has to be done about this. Another thing is, a lot of people don't know that Jeff has his own profiling system. He has his own profiling system that Amazon is selling 
to all the law enforcement agencies of the world. Now, where is he getting the people to, be, to give these people a profile of them? I'm thinking there has to be a lot of his ex-employees that he buys in there that you know, walk in the door and walk out. They're not just selling them a system. They're selling them a system of profiles already attached. Where is this coming from? We still have no answer on that. This man is making money left and right. He's not being taxed. You, pay, you know how he pays his taxes? He pays his taxes. Amazon pays his taxes to the people that are on Amazon Prime. The taxes you pay on the stuff you buy is the only taxes that Amazon submits. That's not right. Well, all I got to say is we got a long, hard struggle, but we're here. Can you see all these other people? See them all here? We will continue to fight. Christian and Derek are on the West Coast right now, leading the, the struggle in Seattle. I want to say thank you for having us here today, and fuck Jeff Bezos. <laughs>